In celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month, we have a Folklorico performance for you this morning. Joining us in studio, Brenda Ruiz, Arvin High School's Folklorico dance instructor, Zanaya Sanchez, and Brian Cisneros, who are part of the program there as juniors in high school. Thanks for coming in, everybody. Thank you guys okay. for having us. Of course, we are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. Brenda, I want to first just talk a little bit about uh, the, the program that you have, of course, at Arvin High School, and why it is so important to have the students there plug into their heritage. Yeah, so we started this program two years ago. This is our third year. Um, I started off with five students, and the program has grown. We now have almost 80 students in the program. Wow. Fantastic. Um, so it's really nice and I think students are able to connect because most of the population at our school are Mexican. So it's, it's part of their heritage, it's their culture and their roots and right. um, I'm sure their parents talk about it at home and it's, it's a great way to connect parent and student relationships um, because now they can go home and talk about it with their parents during dinner or what so. What is the history of folklorico performances? So folklorico dances are, we, we go through different states of Mexico and students learn about the costumes, they learn about the traditions for each state because each state is very unique mm -hmm. and they have, um, a lot of people don't know, but each state has its own costume, it has its own style of music, own style of dance. So students get to learn a little bit about each state. Okay, so of course we have a performance here today. What are we, Brian? Let, let's talk to you. Oh, okay. What are yeah. what are we show? What are you going to be showing us today? Um, Guichi. Um, so it's basically a dance where it's very movie, mm -hmm. I guess, because there's yeah. some uh, places in Mexico where where you dance, it's like stiff. Okay. okay. You don't yeah. move much, only your legs. So for Guichi, it's very. Like it's a little more relaxed. Yeah, kind it's of? Like okay. more okay. relaxed, and you can do more stuff, like more movement with your shoulders and legs. What What was it like getting involved for the two of you? Have you done this growing up? Was this the first time that you started doing folklorico dancing? I started folklorico dancing the first year they opened it, so it's my third year doing it. But I have never done it before. Okay, and what did you think about getting involved? I really loved it. It was really fun, and the dresses are really. Pretty oh my gosh, <laughs> so yeah. beautiful, your your hair, everything, I just, I love it all. It's so colorful, and just yes. such a beautiful celebration. Yeah. All right, so Brian and Zania are gonna perform a folkloric code dance for all of us in Kern County this morning. Take it away. Yeah. All right. dancers performing at the fair this weekend, right Brenda? Yes, we will be performing at the fair on the 29th. 
Okay, so fantastic. Right. You can come and catch them there. And then, by the way, there is a class that you can watch or you can actually join at Bakersfield College. Yeah, so at Arvin, uh, the class is only offered for the students, but we do have a BC club. Um, that meets Mondays and Tuesdays from 6.30 to 8.30 at Bakersfield College, and that one's open to the community. Um, that group is called Vale Folklorico Ritmo y Sabor, um, which I'm also a part of. So uh, we want to invite you guys, if anybody yeah. is interested in learning and wants to join us, uh, you guys are more than welcome to come by Mondays and Tuesdays from 6.30 to 8.30. All right, All right, fantastic. Incredible job, you guys. That was so much fun to Thank watch. You Thank so you so much. for Thank coming you. in. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, make it a great Wednesday, everyone.